the reason that in relationships that people hide so much, even in intimate relationships they will keep a lot of aspects of their mind private because there's the fear of abandonment, it's the fear of rejection, it's the fear of being turned away from. You know, the, the mind is so accustomed to hiding and protecting these thoughts because it, it's covering over a lot of deep unworthiness. And every human being has this deep pool of unworthiness, like I'm not really worthy of love. So that when you have a partner or something and you, it's kind of like there's a part of the mind going, imagine that, a partner that's with me or something, because it's so dark, there's so much unworthiness down there. And to keep the partner is to keep, in the ego sense, to keep those dark parts hidden. Even though it just doesn't work that way in relationships, those dark parts, they come up. They are designed to come up. The whole healing system is to let the darkness come up. And, and it seems like we're doing this with relationships, but it's really just our mind is allowing this stuff up so we can have it reinterpreted by the Holy Spirit. Because in the end, the darkness isn't real. Why isn't it real? Because God didn't create it but we believe it's real. We hide it, and then we keep our uh, relationships more on a surface level because, uh-oh, don't want to go too deep because it could trigger the dynamite that's underneath, that, that out-of-control part that's, that, that feels very psychotic or very schizophrenic. <laughs> it's almost like that part that's hidden. Because you don't want that up too much, otherwise you might not be deemed to be a fully functioning, adult, mature human being. You could lose the title. <laughs> you could become one of the sick ones. Pretty quick. <laughs> Pretty quick. The diagnosed <laughs> ones. And then the locked up ones. You know, so there's a whole scenario in there that's tied into this hiding and protecting. And it's almost like we just don't trust that, that letting all this up and clearing all this out will take us back to the light. We think, from the ego's perspective, that we're just going to be lonely and grow old and have no friends and have no family and be a bag lady, be homeless. You know, the ego is saying, oh yeah, right, expose your thoughts and your feelings and see where this goes. And it's got a whole scenario in our mind. Instead of having expanding circles of mighty companions that are all authentic with us and keep allowing us to keep exposing and, and going higher and higher in consciousness back to the light, the ego paints this very dismal thing like you will pay for this the rest of your life and you will end up cold and lonely and living desolate, in living in your car. <laughs> yeah, picking out of that, you know, that, those things are in there. We need to bring this in awareness. We have to break the repression and the denial about the wound and allow the wound to come up in the context of we're here to love you and support you. Our